My name is uh, Dr. Muhumza Michael Ediga, a senior consultant neurosurgeon, heading uh, the Department of Neurosurgery Mulago Hospital Complex. Neurosurgery basically handles the brain and spinal cord uh, problems. Uh, what we mainly have here are one, head trauma, especially from accidents, the border borders, being number one, culprit. Two, what we call congenital anomalies. These are babies who are born when they are not fully developed. They have defects. Uh, three, uh, infection in the brain and spinal cord. Then we do have the brain and spine tumors. We handle about five to 10 operations for head injury patients per day. This is a lot, this is too much. Um, and this has not enabled us to handle the other areas, cases of the other areas I just talked about, especially the brain tumors. Most of these accidents that come in are border borders. And I would like to take this opportunity to talk about helmets. Helmets have been found to be very, very protective for head injury, the extent of the head injuries. So it is strongly, strongly advised that if you know that you have to use a motorbike very often, at least invest in a helmet. The border riders, please let them have helmets. This is going to go a long way in helping us reduce on the head injury cases. With all these head injury patients we operate, we are unable to handle the tumors. For instance, as I speak, we have tumors booked as early as 2001, 2022. Of course, you can't leave a patient dying with a head injury, brain uh, moving out and you're operating somebody walking. These are the challenges we are having. So please, 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 let's use helmets. And the worst and very painful lately is the kids who are being hit by borders as they move to school early morning. The borders, please, let's be disciplined. Thank you.